Misunderstanding is easy across cultural divides. The very same act in different cultures may signify entirely different cultural values. For example, well, it's common for, for a person in my culture to say, I love you to their spouse. And so when I was speaking to, uh, to my wife when we first got married, I would say, I love you. Or in her heart language, je t'aime. Uh, she speaks French. She's from Congo, Brazzaville. And when I would say, I love you, my wife would say, thank you. And I would go away sad thinking, my wife doesn't love me. And she couldn't understand why I walked away sad. Because in her culture, the appropriate response to I love you, je t'aime, was not moi aussi, I love you too. It was merci, thank you. And so it took us time to adjust and to realize this was just a cultural variation. It didn't mean she didn't love me. She was expressing gratitude that I was expressing my love. But what do you do if you're dealing with another culture that was two or 3,000 years ago? How are you going to understand the background for that? How will you understand the culture for that? Take, for example, the woman at the well. Most women came to the well together, but one woman wasn't welcome to come with the other women. She had to come instead at the sixth hour, the hottest time of day, the time of day when everybody took siestas, took a break, took their lunch, whatever, People would actually stop work for a couple hours during that time. Anyone who met her there would know that she was considered a moral outcast. Jesus asks her for a drink, but no religious Jew would do that. Conservative religious Jews considered all Samaritan women unclean from the cradle, even if they weren't immoral. Further, wells were considered notorious. I mean, where did Jacob meet Rachel? Where did Isaac Stewart meet Rebecca? Where did Moses meet Zipporah? And ancients sometimes thought that wells were good places to find mates. So she's probably supposing that he's flirting with her. He then asks her a leading question, go get your husband, which is to say, are, are you married? So she responds, oh, I'm not married. Jesus then reveals her past and she realizes that he's a prophet. Now this brings her to the next issue. We might think that she's changing the subject, or just using the opportunity of meeting a prophet to ask him a trendy theological question. But the real issue is that Samaritans didn't believe in prophets. So if Jesus is a prophet, then the Jews are right and the Samaritans are wrong. And Jews say that you have to worship in Jerusalem's temple, not on Mount Gerizim. So she's asking him about the right site for worship. Unless we check first century culture, We'll just assume our own and read our own into the text.